What up? How's everyone doing today? Man, uh, I read an article. Uh, I'm going to pick it up and read a portion of it here. Uh, I'll share the website in the show notes. It was, it was really amazing. Um, so I'm just going to read this little, this little excerpt here for a second. Um, what happened is inexplicably incredible. It's the greatest gift ever unwrapped. Not the deaths, not the virus, but the great pause. It is in one word profound. Please do not recoil from the bright light beaming through the window. I know it hurts your eyes. It hurts mine too. But the curtain is wide open. What the crisis has given us is a once in a lifetime chance to see ourselves and our country in the plainest of views. At no other time ever in our lives have we gotten the opportunity to see what would happen if the world simply stopped. Here it is. We're in it. Stores are closed. Restaurants are empty. Streets and six lane highways are barren. Even the planet itself is rattling less. And because it is rarer than rare, it has brought to light all of the beautiful and painful truths of how we live. Man, I read that this morning and I read the whole article. The Great Pause. A once in a lifetime probably never happen again opportunity to look at our lives and not just in the small sense, in the big sense, and see what it is that we are doing. What are we doing with our lives? How are we treating each other? How are we spending our time? Because normally we're all just so busy. We have this meeting and that meeting. We have this thing and we have to go here and we have to go there and we have to get, we have to, we have to grind and we have to get that Mercedes and that nice house and we got to take that sick vacation, you know, where everyone can see it and we can post it so that we can keep up with the Joneses. Well, now that's gone. There's no keeping up with the Joneses. Keeping up with the Joneses is simple. Everyone's doing the same thing. Nobody's doing anything different. The rich and the poor. We are in our houses. We are with our families. What are you going to take out of this? What are you going to hold on to or let go of? How are you going to treat people differently? How are you going to treat them more skillfully? What are you going to find with the things that are really important in your life? We all have had to find joy in, this mo in these moments. Things that we weren't so sure that we, that we really loved. I washed my car a couple weeks ago by hand. I enjoyed that time. I think I'm going to wash my car a little more often. Take a pause. Because that's what the great pause is telling us. It's telling us that we do too much. That we don't have time to just be. That we're too worried about our disagreements about politics and religion and opinions. The Great Pause is making us spend time by ourselves. Some stillness. Find your power.